Hi everyone. Today I shall discuss about the specimen of the stomach. Now this is the specimen of the stomach. This is situated on the left side, and you will see. I will place it in the left hand. And as the stomach is very much capacious, that's why the lower end I will place in the right hand. Otherwise, you will place it only in the left hand. Now the stomach is the J-shaped structure, and it follows the rule of two. What is the rule of two? It has got two orifices. This is the cardiac orifice. You see, this orifice that is it has got no sphincter. This is the cardiac orifice. Now this is the pyloric orifice. You will see this pyloric orifice. There is a thick sphincter which regulates the uh, digested food to go into the duodenum. So this cardiac orifice is deeply placed in the body, and this pyloric orifice is situated superficially. Now it has got two surfaces. The surfaces are: this is the anterior superior surface, and this is the posterior inferior surface. Now this posterior inferior surface is related with so many of structure. They constitute the stomach bed. why the stomach bed is important because not only there is the stomach problem if the problem arises from the region the organ of the stomach bed you will see that gives rise to the symptoms that looks like the symptoms of the gastric problem so you should know the stomach bed and it is important for the examination now you will visualize these two surfaces now i will show you the two borders now this border that is directed to the right this is known as the lesser curvature and it extend from the cardiac orifice up to the pyloric orifice and in this lesser curvature a peritoneal fold you will see it here the part yellow color this is known as the lesser omentum which is attached to the liver next in the greater curvature that extends this there is a depression in this region you see this depression is known as incisura cardiaca from incisura cardiaca the greater curvature ascends upwards and laterally then it goes downwards and below and in the below it will ends in another notch which is known as incisura angularis so this is the greater curvature of the stomach now this greater curvature it gives attachment to gastrophrenic ligament by this it is attached to the diaphragm it is gives attachment to the gastrosplenic ligament by which it is attached to the spleen and the rest of the part of the greater curvature gives attachment to the anterior two layers of the greater omentum which is known as the polisman of the abdomen at it pro protects any infection which occurs in the abdomen that's why it is known as the polisman of the abdomen so this two curvature you will see now this stomach is divided into three parts by passing of an line that is the horizontal line from incisura cardiaca up to the greater curvature the part above this line this is known as the fundus of the stomach now this fundus normally contain no food only the gas that will accumulate here that is known as the fundi gas shadow in the x ray and after taking a very heavy meal in case of old people so what will happen sometimes the stomach is the fundus is filled up with too many of gases that it will actually uh, pressures over the apex of the heart and that's why there is some chest pain occurs and which is Uh, actually misdiagnosed as an cardiac problem now this is the fundus now below this up to the from the incisura angularis up to the lesser curvature there is a vertical line this vertical line from the left of this this part is known as the body and in this body there is digestion of the protein carbohydrate all, all takes place you know here now 
uh, and it uh, the musculature of the stomach is very thick you will see i can feel this musculature how strong it is because it contains the three layers of muscle three coats next you will see the uh, pylorus this is the pyloric sphincter that is the uh, circular muscle here it is actually condensed and form this sphincter why there is sphincter because the semi digested food or partly digested food that passes through the duodenum in a small amount why in the small amount because the bile comes out in the second part of the duodenum that is so bubble in appearance that is very little and the bile contains the uh, enzyme which digests the fat so that's why small amount of food is passing so that that it is completely covered with bile so this is the three parts of the uh, stomach now how will you you see uh, what is the arterial supply of the stomach by the left gastric right gastric and in the lesser curvature right and left gastroepiploic artery now left gastric is the main uh, supply of the stomach you see my drawing on the stomach then you will see the arterial supply of the stomach so how will you hold the specimen in anatomical position during the oral so you will hold the specimen in the left hand and so that the cardiac end will be upper and in the 1 inch uh, left to the midline and pyloric end should be below and superficial and that is 1 inch uh, to the right of the midline so this is about the stomach thank you i think the video will liked by you